Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and we have been talking a long time about what you see behind me, bison. Little Bert is with us. Now, let me rewind a little bit. You remember we just built a new bison exhibit. It's spectacular. It's turned out really well. We're really excited about it and we are very excited because Bert just arrived. Now, Bert's story. You may remember me maybe telling you this in the past, but Bert, when he was a young little uh, bison, he got mixed up with a couple other bison and unfortunately broke a leg in the incident when he was a calf. That leg healed, but it didn't heal quite well enough to deem him releasable back into either a herd or into the wild or whatever, what have you. And so he was uh, deemed unreleasable and so we decided boy, what a great uh, story and a great animal to bring here to Zoo Montana and uh, here he is. Now the guy uh, that has been caring for him has done a spectacular job and has been really great at helping us set up this corral system for him for his quarantine period. Now for 30 days this guy has to be in his back area here so we can make sure he's disease free, make sure that he's okay, he's healthy and get all the tests like blood and what have you that we need to get from him to make sure he is a healthy animal animal so he doesn't give our animals anything that he might be bringing in. I am happy to say that Bert's doing quite well. He's very comfortable here and a couple things to note. Now of course he is a bison and you're going to notice that he's got that hump on the back here. Now this guy's still young. He's just over a year old and so but about 500 pounds if you can imagine that. So he's he's young but he's still growing quite well. He is a boy so he's going to get really big up and over a ton, 2,000 pounds if you can imagine that. But of course you've noticed those horns and as you know those are horns not antlers, so they're stuck in his head. So he's not going to lose those like a deer does at the end of the season. They're always going to be part of that skull. Now, a couple other things to note that tongue. You might notice that tongue coming out. How crazy does that tongue look? In fact, it looks almost like a giraffe tongue. It's black and it's it kind of loops around. Well, that tongue is pretty much what we call prehensile, which means it wraps around whatever it touches. And they use that. You can imagine out in the field, they'll use that tongue to grab grass, kind of like our hand, to pull it out and then, of course, consume it or swallow it down. And last but not least, you can sort of see on this guy, he's still a little young to really see it, but that hump on the back that I mentioned earlier, that of course giant muscle to help them swing their head back and forth in the snow so they can get down to the grass below. So we are excited to debut the exhibit for you. You'll see this guy out there. We are hoping for two more. We're still in the works and trying to make that happen. But for now, little Bert, he's going to be pretty happy out and about. And by the way, if you're out in Yellowstone, don't get this close to a bison. Bert's a little different than those wild bison in Yellowstone National Park. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.